Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Shy Hammer Fantasy Battle Report. And today I got a game against Todd. This is a rematch immediately after our first game, just because Dan and Red were playing a game right next to us, and they were only on turn two. And we're like, "Fuck it, let's just play another game because they're gonna. We'll probably finish before them." And guess what? We did finish before them. <laughs> It makes a big difference when you're you're missing one player's magic phase. Anyways, uh, let's see what we brought to the table, and uh, here we go. My orcs and goblins. I got 29 savage orc biggins. It might not be 29. It might be like 26 or 28, whatever. It's 20-something savage orc biggins with the front row having three lords. Actually, two lords and a hero. Got my black orc boss. You can't really see him because he's hiding behind the banner, and he's sideways. But that's black orc boss ox. On the right corner, that is Lord Zoyberg, uh, Dr. Zoyberg, with his uh, lucky shrunken head, which you can't see, which is off screen. And then the big banner in the middle, that is Savage Orc Lenny. Lenny has the banner of Orcs, Orcs War Banner, or Mork's War Banner, sorry. Over here, you got two Goblin Chariots. Uh, the one on the right is going under conversion still. And the guy in the middle is the immortal and legendary Lord Chickenhead. Um, got two Doom Divers here. Got my unit of six trolls. Got 21 uh, Night Goblins with bows and fanatics. Got my level 2 Itchy uh, with the Lore of Undeath. And then I believe that might be it actually. We're going to go over what he has brought today. He has a unit of Iron Drakes, 10 Iron Drakes. Over here he has a gyrocopter, a cannon. He has his organ gun with Grim Burlaxon or whatever his name is. He has a unit over here of, and I confused this last game, I'm going to confuse it again this game. He has a unit of Longbeards with great weapons and uh, a Runesmith in that unit. And then over here he has Iron Breakers with his Lord, Lord Horn, Hern, Hiron, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's the, the Rage Quick King uh, with his uh, unit here, and they have the, they're stubborn with their banner. And uh, here's Chickenhead taking a look from the tower over here from the last game. We're going to go over Magic, Magic, I got Dark Riders and Grave Call again. And then over here I got Fist Gork, Foot of Gork, Gaze of Mork, and Brain Bust. I did lose the Hand of Gork from the first turn, first game. Uh, first turn, I win the roll off this time. Plus, I did take my Vanguards with Chicken Head. So Chicken Head just ran up the flank. Now, we're playing Battle Line. He did put all his guys in a corner, kind of like a gun line approach. So on his flank over here, he just has his Oregon gun with Grim Burlickson. And I just threw Chicken Head up on that side. Um, as you can see, I did march everybody up. Um, I did do a death trap to my night goblins. They're basically going through the little um, chokehold point of the building, the trees, and the rocks. Basically because um, I kind of wanted to see where he was going to deploy. And if his gyrocopter goes over the building towards my doom diver that's on the left side there, I would uh, release the fanatics on it. So that's kind of where I was thinking. But being inside of all that stuff is going to kill my fanatics regardless magic phase got five power dice and I'm gonna go ahead and throw all five onto the fist foot of Gork and he dispels it um, he uses his runesmith's uh, ability to eat the spell and he fails to eat it but he does dispel it it is yet to eat my spell um, over here I throw both doom divers back onto his uh, iron drakes this is basically the same thing as from the first game and I end up killing off four of them uh, he takes a panic check and he sticks because his lord is right there. And it is going to go ahead and start off orcs or dwarves turn two. That was about it. He moves his gyrocopter up here uh, onto the other side of my chariot. And he is exactly nine inches away actually. So he's just short of making my fanatics pop which is pretty funny to me. Uh, he took a wound from something here. He has some sort of misfire on it. Anyways, um, he moves up his... Uh, I don't think he moved anybody up. Actually, I think he moved back a little bit. His uh, Iron Drakes are going to go ahead and start off turn uh, his first turn of shooting. They're going to go ahead and shoot at my Chariot. They only do one wound down to him. The Cannon goes. The Cannon shoots at my Trolls to my other Chariot. And it flies over the Trolls and it bounces into the Chariot and kills the Chariot here. And then Grim Burlickson and this Oregon Gun decide to shoot at Chicken Head. Uh, the Oregon Gun gets 10 
shots and then he gets another six shot shots so it's 16 shots they are not flaming so they go ahead and they shoot they boom 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 boom, boom and they kill chicken head on the first turn that sucks but chicken head again didn't die in vain he does it so he could get the luck of the chicken to everybody else it's gonna start off orcs and goblins turn two orcs and goblins turn two i'm gonna go ahead and charge my uh chariot here that took wounds from the freaking iron drakes it's gonna go ahead and charge through the trees into the iron drakes themselves i move up the goblins here just one inch basically to release the fanatics and throw them at that freaking gyrocopter because I don't want that gyrocopter running around doing whatever it does. So I roll for all three of them. I try to make it so that they don't run into each other and I do that very well. But look at this. They freaking all fall short. Seven, six, and six. That's some bullshit. Um, Magic Fizz get four power dice and I go ahead and I throw up a couple dice on, I throw them all four on, on the Dark Riders plus the Mushroom. It gets Irresistible Force. I'm going to get some hex boars, but I take a wound for that. Uh, my orc shaman in this unit takes a wound, and he takes a wound as well. It must have been feedback. Um, and sure enough, I got some hex boars on the other side of the gyrocopter. Basically, it doesn't matter if I put them facing the gyrocopter, because the gyrocopter is going to get the next move. So I put them facing towards uh, the rest of the units over there. Um, Doom Divers, one gets jammed. And then the other one shoots at this unit over here with the long beards and kills off one dude. And uh, then these guys over here, they're going to go ahead and shoot at the gyrocopter. And they fail to wound it. Impact hits from the chariot. Kills off three of the iron drakes. Iron drakes try to attack back and they fail to wound the chariot. Chariot basically gets a uh, wins combat res by a lot. Like five to one maybe. And uh, they're going to go ahead and flee. They're not steadfast. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The dogs even killed one more, so that's six to one. And, uh, yeah, there's only two dudes left there. They're going to go ahead and flee. And when they flee, they decide uh, to run past their... Oh, I catch them. I kill them. And this is going to cause me to overrun. As you can see, if I was to go in a straight line, this is a very good question. I've been, I've been, We had it over that, that day, and I'm going to bring it up here. If I was to go in a straight line, I will hit the side flank of that unit right there okay but one of the guys Dan that I was playing with was saying before I actually chased majority of the front flank is facing the dogs so or the chariot so technically I would have a front flank charge on the overrun so I want to know which one is correct because I was under assumption I would just run straight and then hit what I hit but uh, so we ended up saying it was a front flank and he only got a tip in like this and that's what happens um, over here, it's going to start off uh, Dwarf's turn 2. Dwarf's turn 2, he goes in and pops out the Miners, and they're facing down my jammed Doom Diver on this side. Um, he ends up moving his Gyrocopter onto the other side of the building here to face off my freaking level 2 Itchy. And then he shoots, uh, starts the shooting phase. Shooting phase is cannon shoots, and it aims directly at my BSB. Directly at my BSB. He rolls a 6, and he rolls like whatever, a 4 or 10 or something like that. And basically, so I roll for a lookout, sir. I fail my lookout, sir. Actually, no, I don't fail my lookout, sir. Uh, I pass my lookout, sir, and he ends up killing off two got two regular guys. That sucks. Um, then his organ gun goes. The organ gun shoots eight shots and two shots of so ten shots total. Shoots at my trolls. Kills off one troll and does two wounds to another troll. And oh, I'm sorry. Kills off two trolls total, and ends up doing one more wound to the other troll. Now, the gyrocopter shoots its steam gun, and it just straight up blasts my fucking level 4. That just sucked. Uh, or level 2. And then his dwarf lord makes way and kills my chariot before my chariot did anything. I think I got like one wound from the impact hits on that one. It's going to go ahead and start off Orcs and Goblins turn 3 now. Orcs and Goblins turn 3. I'm charging the hex boars into his lord's unit. Now, his lord right now is a strength 4, so I'm assuming he doesn't have a magic weapon. He didn't pull any magic weapon shit on me when, I was, when he fought the chariot. So I was thinking, ha ha, as long as I charge and I do wounds, he's not going to be able to keep up with my, my hex boars, and I'll stick that unit for a while until he starts combat resing me. Um, I charge the trolls into the organ gun, and they get in. All three of my fanatics killed each other. They either ran into the trees or, the, or the, themselves. And, um, like I said, that was a chokehold right there. And then Magic Phase. Magic Phase got six power dice. I'm going to go ahead and throw up all six on the foot of Gork. He stops it again. 
And uh, let's just start off close combat because my Doom Diver is jammed and the other Doom Diver is getting attacked by dwarves, I think. Um, so close combat, the trolls over here, they kill the organ gun and they overrun right into Burlixen. Over here, his Dwarf Lord pops out with this freaking magic weapon that gets stronger if I had higher toughness. So since I didn't have higher toughness, he's only strength 4, he ends up killing one dude. My Hex Boars go and they kill off two dudes. And based on just combat res alone, he has three ranks, a banner, he did a wound, I did two two or three wounds, or two wounds and a charge, I lose two guys. So I'm down to two guys left, and that's that. I did lose combat on that. I should have, well, I think I did do a chair check on him, but it didn't matter. Um, it's going to start off his turn, or, or Dwarves turn three. He charges his miners in onto my Doom Diver, and uh, he, I also, if you haven't noticed, I reformed my goblins here. Um, at this moment right here, my camera actually said I had too much freaking memory, uh, not insufficient space, so I was trying to delete pictures and make, to make room for new pictures, and, uh, as you can see, that, uh, that caused a couple pictures to be missed. But I did reform my goblins over here to face down the backside of the dwarves during the fight of the Doom Diver, but he moves his, ch uh, his, uh, gyrocopter over here to get a side shot with his steam gun. It's going to start off shooting phase, actually. He kills off five goblins with his steam gun, and then he goes ahead and does his cannon shot over here, and he picks out, he did pick out my BSB. He picked out my BSB, and he killed my BSB with one shot. I failed the the uh, the, the lookout, sir, and he kills off two guys and my BSB. Um, into close combat. Close combat, the trolls kill Burlixen, and they're free to roam. They're going to go ahead and turn to the side of his long beard. And then close combat over here against the hex boars. He ends up killing off the whole unit, and that was that basically. And then his dwarf miners over here, they just destroyed my doom diver. And he decides to overrun, trying to run towards the other doom diver I have on the other side of the board. But he didn't run far. He ran a three on the overrun. <laughs> it's gonna start off uh, orcs and goblins. I believe this is turn four actually. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my trolls into his side flank of his long beards. I'm charging the savages into the front flank of his long beards. I'm charging because he didn't charge my my goblins here. He just steam gunned them. I'm charging the goblins into the back end of the dwarf warriors. Now he did fail because I had 21 guys. He killed five. That wasn't 25 percent. It was like just under 25 percent. So they didn't get a fear check and they didn't run. They're going to go ahead and charge in here to the ass end of the fucking dwarf miners. They get in. Over here, the savages fail. The trolls get in. And that's going to start off magic phase. Magic phase, I got four power dice plus a channeled one. I'm going to go ahead and throw all the dice onto the foot of Gork. I get it off. I roll it right here because I'm hoping to just kind of like, you know, it's a drift in my favor in a direction. And it doesn't. It rolls like six inches this way. Motherfucker. So I roll four, four, five, or six to do it again. It happens again. The second time, it kills off four of the iron breakers. I roll four, four, five, or six to do it again. I get a one. So on the one, he puts it this way onto my savages, and it drifts off and only kills off one dude. Thank God. If I had my banner up, though, that guy would be probably be fine. But my banner's dead. I'm going to go and shoot the doom divers at his iron breakers. And uh, ends up killing off one dude, and it's a super blurry picture. Over here, my my night goblins they're attacking the rear he does his attacks he or I do my attacks first I'm faster than dwarves with great weapons and uh, he's like ha I got hatred at your green skins I was like well guess what night goblins have hatred against dwarves so they killed one dude with their fucking hatred he killed two dudes and I got a charge I got a rear I got a rank he only has a rank no, he doesn't even have a rank, he, but he got two wounds. He loses by three. They're going to go ahead and run from some night goblins with bows. <laughs> and they run off, and uh, I chase him down, and I, I kill him. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. So no more miners. Stuff. His trolls go. His trolls go ahead and kill off five longbeards. Or my trolls. His dwarf... Longbeards with great weapons are attacking back. They end up killing off actually two trolls, but um, I did get a side, a charge, killed five, and he has ranks banner. I believe I passed just barely. I think I, I had to take the combat res or the check, and I did a seven. And uh, yeah, so they are totally going to sit there for a second. Anyways, it's going to start off his turn. 
Dwarf's turn four. Uh, Dwarf's turn four, he's going to go ahead and he fails the charge with his Iron Breakers to my Savages. That was hilarious. He needed like a four and he rolled a three or something like that. So they just stumble forward like that. His Gyrocopter comes over here to get some more side action shot going on. His cannon goes and his cannon's aiming at this unit. He has nowhere else to aim. He has nothing else to shoot at besides like a Doom Diver that's on the far end which he can't even reach. So he ends up killing off three more Savages here. Um, and then as for close combat, close combat, these trolls, man, they were vicious. They killed off five dudes. And then he only does two wounds onto one of my trolls. So I win combat on that one, I believe. And uh, he sticks. It's going to start off my turn, Orcs and Goblins turn five. These t turns are going fast as hell. My Savages charge at his Longbeards. Now, I did call out the Wog on the last turn, so I can't do it again, unfortunately. Um... But I do get in like this. I'm like, screw his general's unit. I'm just focused on these long beards. That looks like a lot more points in this long beard unit. So uh, sure enough, I connect in. Magic phase, I get eight power dice. I'm going to go ahead and throw up all six dice because I totally was expecting him to try to stop this on Fist of Gork. He throws a couple dice that he has and he gets double sixes. Bullshit. Shooting phase, I shoot my Doom Diver into his Dwarf Lord's unit. And it kills off four dudes, four Iron Breakers. It's part of my plan. I didn't want to touch them because I figured I could just kind of do this. And uh, it causes them to panic. <laughs> and he panics and he flees and he's running off the board over here. Uh, man, that's hilarious. These Doom Divers did that twice to him already. And this is because he fails to bring a BSB. Um, as for the big stab, I had to turn it backwards because he, was, he wasn't really fitting with the trolls. So the big stab goes and kills off like two dudes the freaking savages go they end up killing off like eight or nine guys the trolls go the trolls kill off like four or five more the freaking orc lord and the savage shaman they're all going they're killing off more dudes he gets annihilated with this unit and basically he's running i chase i kill him i overrun he only killed four of my guys back i have to overrun with the savages and the trolls are going to chase as well um i believe yeah, it ends up like this, more or less. And it is going to start off his turn. His turn, he ends up just rallying his guys here and going straight into his gyrocopter moving over here. He's going to go ahead and shoot his cannon. And his cannon ends up killing off like maybe like a dude or two. Uh, yeah, two guys. Um, it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn 6. Orcs and Goblins turn 6. I'm going to go ahead and charge my trolls and my savages all into his lord's unit and everybody connects in. Actually, I take that back. My trolls charge his cannon. My savages charge his lord's unit. And basically, we're all in. We're attacking. Uh, Magic Phase got eight power dice. I go ahead and throw up a couple dice onto Fist of Gork. He doesn't stop at this time. My Doom Diver's trying to kill his gyrocopter. Doesn't, and uh, it doesn't. I think it just drifted off. I might have killed it, actually. Maybe not. Um... He challenges, or impact hits from the big stab, kills off one warrior, or one iron breaker. He challenges with his dwarf lord, and I'm thinking like, Psh, watch this. I, I'm cocky this time. I'm going to have my weapon skill 10, 6 attack, savage orc shaman zoidberg attack, go on this challenge and come back victorious with his 5 up ward. And he goes into this fight, and his dwarf lord's like, what uh, toughness are you? And I'm like, toughness 5. He goes, oh, well, my weapon, once you're at toughness 5, goes up to, like, strength 8. So he attacks. I mean, he still needs force to, to hit, but he, he it's a new combat, so he's on, uh, he's on his grudge. He's on his hatred. And he gets it off. He ends up hitting my guy for, like, 5 wounds or 4 wounds or some shit crazy. And he ends up killing Dr. Zoidberg on 3. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. As for the savages, savages start killing off guys left and right. The orc lord uh, ox kills off a couple, and then my savages go ahead and kill off a couple. He still has his banner up, and his banner is giving him uh, stubborn, so that they stick, unfortunately. And then as for my trolls here, my trolls end up just wiping out the freaking... Uh, or doing two wounds onto the cannon, I'm sorry. And he fails to wound me here. It's going to start off his turn. Dwarf's turn six. Dwarf's turn six. He goes in and charges my rear with his gyrocopter. He, and that's basically it. <laughs> uh, he's going to go ahead and challenge. I give him my savage orc shaman, or my savage orc champion. 
and uh, he's gonna kill his ass off. My my whole unit goes, kills off the gyrocopter in the back, kills off a bunch of guys in the front. I think I end up killing off his. He only has a couple left. Um, I end up killing off his cannon, and then now my trolls are free to go, and my trolls are definitely gonna go ahead and charge in on my turn. But to be honest, I'm looking at this uh, this video, and it looks like I'm already at turn six, and we went one extra turn, maybe, maybe. If not, this this would be turn six if I didn't. But whatever, I, we we ended up going an extra round. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the side flank here. He challenges again. I decide to make my warlord ox step back and go and retreat to the back. All my guys are sliding down the hill here at this time because it's on a fucking hill and I don't have magnets yet. Um, so uh, basically, we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and start killing guys off. And I end up killing off a couple. I killed off his banner. Or, I'm sorry, his Dwarf Lord was still in challenge over here, but whatever. Um, kill off a couple guys, and he's going to stick. And pretty much this is the end of the game anyways. He, If he goes on his turn 7, or whatever it is, uh, maybe turn 6, he ends up... I end up finally killing the banner, so he's not stubborn. He ends up sticking anyways, and my guys are all sliding off the fucking tray. <laughs> but, uh... I definitely won a second dwarf victory over his, or over his uh, dwarves. Orcs and goblins are three for three under the leadership bubble of Chickenhead, even though Chickenhead died before the like at the vanguard stage. <laughs> Chickenhead died on turn one, and um, just because he was alone, but he definitely held his own, and he uh, he made. He made the orcs all like go frenzy nuts to kill everybody because because he died. They saw Chickenhead die and they were just like, "Come on, we could rally and kick these these freaking beards asses." So they decided to just go nuts and kill off all these units of freaking long beards and iron breakers and they just destroyed. Um as for my MVP, the chariot did good by killing off the the Iron Drakes, the Doom Diver did good by the Doom Diver and my level two Itchy did good by stalling the Iron Breakers' turns. They made them flee and they made them, they held them up for a turn or two. But all in all, the most valuable person, the most val valuable unit in the game, this whole game, was my Savages. My Savages just fucking annihilated. I mean, okay, to be honest. The trolls took out Burlickson, the organ gun, the cannon, and the longbeards. So the trolls get a good honorable mention. But the savages were the ones that pushed the longbeards off and started fighting the freaking iron breakers. And if they gave me another if they gave me an eighth turn, because apparently I can't count. And by the way, for the record, everybody at my gym knows I can't count. Okay? But if you give me another turn, I would have killed off his dwarf lord, or I would have made him run just by combat res. He, he had no chance in, in killing off all my guys. But, and especially if I was going to puke on him. Bleh. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, he definitely, the savages were the the unit that was just a force to be reckoned with. And they were just going, going, going. So honorable mention to the trolls, honorable mention to the cherry and the doom divers. They all did good jobs. But the savages are getting this MVP award today. Anyways, guys. It was a very, very short video because we were just going fighting, 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 fighting. We didn't really give a fuck. We were just going. And uh, magic was really low. We really didn't do much on the magic phases. And uh, shooting was actually kind of low. He only has a unit of... Actually, he only has his Dwarf Lord and the unit of Iron Breakers left. I had my Savages, my Doom Diver, and my Trolls left. And I believe my Night Goblins. Yeah, and my Dwarf Lord. Or my Dwarf Lord. My Orc Lord ox still up so I definitely had way more points than him it's a slaughter win way to go guys I'll see you in the next video take care peace if you have any comments or feedback please just leave it in the comment section below I also added a new support button on my channel if you guys feel the need to show some love towards my channel please do so any contribution is something much appreciated because it helps me pay for the damn batteries on my camera <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy these. Take care.
Peace.